Welcome back to part five of our permutation intro. Uh, like I said, the next lesson is literally like one or two lesson or two videos, pretty short ones. So if you do spread this out, uh, you'll be fine. Okay, so again, in groups, discuss strategies, you would do this. Now, how many ways can you rearrange all the tile or letters in the word file, right? If order matters, because remember, if I put the L first, that's a totally different arrangement of letters. How many ways are there? Well, the first one's pretty easy. We've done this kind of question. Technically, there's four factorial ways. I'm taking all the letters, not just picking them. So I can do, I could do this and say, if I wanted to do it many different ways, I could do the counting principle way, where I have four letters to choose from. It's like, imagine you put these bit into a bag, right? You reach into the bag and you pull out a letter, you look at it, and then you put it down. So you have four, then you take your hand again, you grab another letter, you grab another letter, grab another letter. So that's the same as saying, Four factorial. This is also the same as saying I have four letters and I want to pick all of them. So 4p4. All of this will end up being 24, right? Six times four, 24. 24 ways. No matter how you do it in this situation. Right? You can even do it this way. You can go change this into permutation notation. Here you have four minus four. Factor. Now, this is kind of weird. You're thinking, okay, 4 minus 4, isn't that 0? What is 0 factor? Am I divided by 0? Is that going to cause a problem? Well, one of the, um, we won't get into the proof of it, but one of the identities or properties of factorials is that 0 factorial is 1. Uh, you put in your calculator so you can't see it there, but 0 factorial is 1. So this just ends up being 1 here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so what if I had two L's rather than an E? Right. Let's just make a list of all the different ways. I'm not going to list all 24 ways. Actually, should I? Yeah, maybe I will. This video is going to be a little bit longer if I do that. Da, 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 da. So I'm going to... Actually, I'm just going to pause it here. I'm going to come back with all of the different arrangements here. Okay, so I wrote them all out. That's quite a bit. So there's actually here, we got 18. Oh, no, am I missing one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Oh, I'm missing one. Uh oh. There should be 24 of them, like I said there was. Oh, man, how am I missing one? Let me just double check here. i got to find the one I'm missing. Eh. All right, so I was missing this one here. So I was missing one of the ones with the S on the end. Anyway, so there's 24 of them here. Okay, now since you make a list of all the letters that would have F-I-L-L -L instead, okay, so this is 24 when they're all unique different letters. But what if I switched one of the E's to be an L? So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to actually uh, rewrite this list. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this previous list, and wherever there's an E, I am going to put an L. So that makes sense because this would be an L right here. So it'll be an L here, L, 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 L. Okay? Then there's an L, 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 L. L, and there we go. Keep on going, keep on going. Okay. So now what I'm going to do after I look at this, I'm going to look at this and say, okay, are there any of these being repeated now? Because I've done this, I think there might be a situation where I have doubles. So I'm going to look at that and say, okay, what if I had doubles? I'm going to start crossing things off here and see what we have. Uh, so F fill. I think I have another fill in here somewhere. We're right here. There's another fill, F-I-L-L. -L. So that one there is being doubled up. So I want unique ways because if I put down F-I-L-L -L and I put down F-I-L-L, -L, how do I know which is which? I want all the different ways I'm going to rearrange these letters. If L is being repeated, fill and fill, they look exactly the same because the L's look exactly the same. So I'm not going to write both of them. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to start crossing off everything that has 
the exact same letters in it. So I'm just going to just pause and just do that for two seconds. Sorry, the exact same letters in the exact same order. Okay. Okay. So I've gone through. And you notice I crossed off half of the numbers. So how many ways are there? That's technically 12 ways. Okay. Just by crossing this off. So you can see that I've crossed off half. Now, what if I have F L L L? Okay, how many ways would that be? Would I cross off another half? Would I cross off something else? What would that be? So I'm going to go through here. I'm going to start crossing. Or actually, what I'm going to do first of all is going to replace all the I's with L's. So this would be F L L that, and then I would have L like that, and this. Ooh, here's another one. So I have L F L L L F L L. So this is going to be gone. We're going to cross that off. Okay, and this one here is going to be F L L. Oh, there's another one. I'm going to cross that off, and then this I is going to be L L F L. So that's going to be slightly different. But then, oh, that's the same as this one here. I'm going to cross that one off, and then this is going to be L L F, and this is going to be L L F. So I'm going to cross that one off as well. Okay. So so far I have one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go through the rest, and I'll be back. Okay, so. After going through all this, I crossed off pretty much everything else that before I paused the video. And you notice that I only have one, two, three left. I have F L L L. I have, or I should have another one, I have four left, sorry, right down there. I have F L L L L F F. So I'm just moving the F down the list, and I only have four ways to do this. So there's four ways. Now, how do I get those numbers? What happened? How do I get uh, from 24 to 12? down to four. What do I do here? How do, what, what's happening? Hmm. So what am I dividing by in this situation? In this situation, I'm dividing by two, right? Because, well, it kind of makes sense. I'm dividing by two because there's two letters that are being, that are the same. Makes sense. But if I follow that same logic, when I divide, or not this divide by two, I divide 24 by two, right? And get that 12. But if I follow that same logic, wouldn't I go 24 divided by 3 and get like 8 or something? Wouldn't that work? Like, but I get 4. That's, so I'm not dividing by 3. What am I dividing by to get 24? To, oh, I'm dividing by 6. How does a 3 all of a sudden become a 6? I think I've seen that before. Isn't that the same as saying 3 factorial? Because there's 3 L's and there's six ways to rearrange those three L's. So wouldn't you, yeah, so you divide out all the ways you could rearrange those three L's. And this would be two, but the reason is two, because it's two factorial, because there's two ways to rearrange that. Right? So the thing is, if I have uh, repeated objects, if I have a, n permutations for n objects, the number of permutations for n objects, where I have a objects, a of one object, I have b of another object, et cetera, et cetera, what you actually do, and in our examples up here, we only use the L, right? We repeated the L a few times. But what if I had other repeating letters in there? What if uh, instead of two Ls, I had two Fs? Two Fs and two Ls, sorry. Rather than three Ls, sorry. Two Fs, two Ls. Well, you would take the number of permutations for n objects. And when we do these kind of questions, we're always going to do the case where we have all the objects, not just two or three, because it gets a little bit tricky and you get some situations like um, if you want to pick in two of the objects, did I pick two L's? That could be a case. Or did I just pick one L of the list? Or did I pick a, what is this? Did I pick an I and an F, right? So, I have too many situations. When we do these ones, we simplify them down where we have n factorial ways of doing everything, which is the same as I say, four factorial. And then we divide by a factorial, b factorial, dot, 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 of all the different repetitions there. OK? So here's an example. So here's an asymptote. Right, so there's some repeated letters in here. You have T being repeated a couple of times, S is repeated a couple of times. Uh, that seems like it. 
So how many letters, first of all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 10 letters. So there's 10 factorial ways of rearranging all of those letters, right? That's fine, okay. But some of them are going to look exactly the same. Like if I, if I list off all 10 factorial ways, which is a big number, Okay, I'm not going to list off 3 million ways of rearranging asymptotes. If I list them all off, two of them are going to say asymptote. Well, I'll just cross one of them off, right? Actually, a bunch of them will say asymptote because I can switch the S's, I can switch the T's, I can switch the S's and the T's. So there's going to be a few of them that say asymptote, so you just start crossing those off. There's actually four of them are going to say asymptote. So you're going to take that and you're going to divide by four. Well, where did the four come from? First of all, you divide by two factorial because the two t's. Okay, so we have two t's. Then we're going to divide by two factorial again because we have two s's. I think that's all the repeating letters in there. It's kind of jumbled up here. It's kind of see. So an s, I got an s. We got a t, we got a t. No other e's, no other o's. No other P's, no other M's. Yeah, okay, we're good. So it's going to be whatever this number is divided by 2 factorial, 2 factorial. 2 factorial is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So I'm just going to divide this by 4. So it's actually 907,200 ways to write out asymptote. And they give us a lot of space here. So you might as well start, start writing those out. Okay, probably not. Um, so that ends off, well, maybe not ends off this video, but we'll go to the next activity here in two seconds.